What's going on guys, B G here, you guys can call me Brendan. Today we've got a quick Alliance War video, and I took eight total fights this war, I'm on path two all the way, and I'm only showing you guys the five fights I did with Night Thrasher. War is really boring for me right now, and it's just super stale, there's no tactics to spice it up. So I decided to spice it up myself and bring my favorite character into Alliance War. So. Um, I'm not like forcing terrible matchups like obviously Magneto would have been better here but Night Thrasher works for the other fights I'm taking and all my other characters would have worked just fine I just wanted to force Night Thrasher in it's not like I was gonna give up attack bonus by using him but uh, yeah th this fight is not the most ideal matchup for him because you'll see I take some chip damage from when he launches the special one the shock debuff just strains me a little bit and the, the degen too but um, nothing to be really worried about. Night Thrash is really good for strike counter in general because he gains power when he evades or parries an attack and that will assist you in getting to your specials quicker. That way you can reset the strike counter with a special attack. So he's actually been a lot of fun for this fight and back when Mr. Negative first came out there were uh, people who thought he would be like an insane defender and I was one of those people kind of worried about him because you for me, you need someone with Disorient to shut down his Delirium, which basically reverses your controls when you knock him down. I'm not good with re uh, reverse controls, and I don't want to get good with it in Alliance War, uh, like practice in Alliance War. I'd rather just counter it and not have to worry about it, and Night Thrasher would have done it. Uh, I would have knocked him down with my special one and Disoriented him, and he would have been a perfect counter, but I never had to face a Mr. Negative. so. It wasn't a huge deal to uh, worry about, but it was just something that was always in the back of my mind, like, what if he's on my lane? Because this this lane used to give me tons of troubles, but now we've got this iHawk on the shared mini. Um, basically, he's got strike counter and a couple other nodes. Um, right here, I put on a power boost. I think, or I thought I was going to be able to get to a special two, but I couldn't, so it was just a waste of a boost, but I have him in the overflow. I just forgot to claim him. So uh, yeah, I was doing testing before this, so that's why it wasn't maxed out or whatever. But yeah, th this fight is super straightforward with Night Thrasher. Um, I've actually gotten practice against iHawk with Night Thrasher before. Uh, when Hercules first came out, iHawk was in the side quest, and I would use Night Thrasher against iHawk there. And the Disorient uh, off the special one has a 50% defensive ability accuracy reduction, and that could shut off uh, his immortality from even occurring. So I wanted to you know, try to see if I could get that to happen in this fight. Uh, spoiler, it doesn't, but I show you guys a little trick that I can do with Night Thrasher that I've, uh, that I've practiced against this iHawk before. Um, I first did it on accident, but then I realized it like works 99% of the time. So yeah, this fight is really straightforward, and Night Thrasher is so good for these strike counter lanes. Like, it's it's almost crazy how good he is for these, just because of the power he gains in the beginning, or well, yeah, quickly in the beginning of the fight, um, he can easily cycle special ones. So we're getting close to the end of the fight here. Um, I'll throw one more special one. This will take him to two percent, and uh, yeah, I use a heavy attack to refresh my debuffs. He goes immortal, which sucks. But he throws a special one like a good dude, and I throw my special one here. I delayed my combo slightly, so now he's going to regen really quickly and he's going to attack me. But the last part of the special one hits him. That's what I was talking about, that little trick there. Because um, you can't hit him while he's regening for some reason. But uh, once that regen's gone, the last hit of the special one, uh, it, it, it landed. <laughs> so, pretty decent fight. Now we've got Spider Gwen. Now you guys can start to see why I took Night Thrasher to Alliance War. Uh, this Spider Gwen is actually really easy. Um, I'm using Combat Regen Boost instead of uh, Healing because I have these in the overflow because we keep getting boosts. Not a big deal. And I'm just going to parry here, build up power, uh, conserve my hits because I just want to be able to get my three debuffs up and then I don't really care about the node anymore. My basic hits will do enough damage to where I won't need any specials to take her down. So I get my Disorient up, I keep parrying a little bit just to get more power, and I'm going to throw a heavy attack pretty quickly here. Um, oh no, I throw a special one to refresh, that's fine. Um, now I have both debuffs and now I just need the shock. Um, right here I go for heavy attack to refresh to get the taunt, 
and then I go for a medium medium and then a special blunt yeah he just feels so fluid to play I, I love it <laughs> it's uh, so much fun watching like gameplay of Night Thrasher um, and his ramp up's not that bad as you can see 25 hits in the fight and we're fully ramped up ready to go 10k I think it's 11k mediums actually uh, you'll see really quick here yeah 11,295 damage that's pretty good <laughs> You know for a 25 hit ramp up so now we have a, a modok here and this is a pretty straightforward fight for night thrasher um other champs who reduce defensive ability accuracy like uh like uh, falcon does uh modok can still auto block but night thrasher has true accuracy and ignores all of aid and all auto blocks so uh, no matter what he's always going to ignore it which is really cool in my opinion so now we go in here medium light medium and now we wait for this power scene to come off so we can throw a special one i believe we're going with a disorient yep we do and then you guys will see something really cool with the disorient um i thought it was pretty neat so you'll see after this parry here i do a heavy attack and i'm not power stung when i pass a bar of power the node here stung once twice shy should have given me a power sting but because i struck him to gain that uh bar of power uh, the Disorient helped me uh, with the 50% defensive ability accuracy reduction and not power stinging me. So that was pretty cool. It didn't work here, but uh, it's still pretty cool to see that Disorient put in work when it's normally just a kind of useless debuff. Um, so yeah, pretty cool in my opinion. But now we've got our guaranteed taunt because we have all three debuffs up. And yeah, now we don't care about the node. We're just going to hit this dude as much as we can. And yeah, damage is pretty nice. Uh, you guys are going to see a pretty nice heavy attack here, I believe. Yeah, 17k on the last hit. Uh, when both those crit, it's like a 24,000 heavy attack without um, any synergies. So, pretty cool in my opinion. I took that man thing with uh, Warlock. It's not the best fight. It took long. It was like three minutes long. And then there was a Sorcerer on the regen node. Took that with Warlock. And, the, and then a Havoc on the Polkadot power. Took that with Warlock. And now we have Wasp on the Limber, Spry, yeah, that, whatever node that is. It's, it's super easy when you have uh, Magneto on the team, uh, Magneto House of X that is, because you can just parry heavy, parry heavy, parry heavy, any champ. Uh, there's also Brute Force on here, so, you know, if you have to bait a, have, or a special attack, you'll take some chip damage. It's whatever. Uh, but yeah, he's pretty, pretty good for this fight, because, like, if she doesn't want to throw her special attacks and she throws a random heavy attack I can dash in without having to worry about uh, getting evaded and shot but that's not really much of a issue in this fight so we're nearing the end of the video if you guys did enjoy this video consider hitting the like button if you're already subscribed you know I love you and uh, if you're not subscribed and you're going to uh, subscribe uh, I love you <laughs> And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you if you like war videos, uh, comment below and let me know. I'm normally not a fan of recording every single fight, but uh, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, let me know, and I'll uh, keep, I'll start recording my war fights. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.